In this video, I chat to Max Chapman about staying healthy on the road as a DJ. Yes, I did say Max Chapman. Let's dive into it. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Data Transmission, and if this is the first time joining us on YouTube, we give tips and advice to DJs to help you get further in the music industry. Our big question series is simply that. It's one big question, and we ask DJs, producers, record label owners, industry heads to give us their answer, uh, and generally give us some t their, their knowledge over to you, the aspiring DJ. We've had people like Andy C, Camel Fat, Roger Sanchez, and many more join us on the big question. And today we're joined by Max Chapman for his second ever big question. Today we have a DJ Awards special. It's the DJ Awards again this time of year and the voting isn't open at the moment. This is the 22nd edition of DJ Awards. This year they've maxed it up, excuse the pun, and they've got 14 big categories, including eight for DJs, plus four other non-specific genre categories. This year's edition also has 125 nominees. Our focus today is Max Chapman. Uh, as you know, we're big fans of Max at the at Data Transmission. Go Max. And I thought I'd get him on the big question series uh, to support his campaign. He's up for the Tech House Award this year. He's up against Salado, Michael Bibby, um, Camel Fat, and a whole host of other people. So let's, so let's try and get Max to win this category. For those who are avid fans of Data Transmission's YouTube, you know we spoke to him last year as he picked up his Breakthrough Award. He talked to us then about finishing your tracks. I'll link that in the card above. And today we're going to talk about staying healthy on the road. Recently I spoke to him whilst he was in Japan via Messenger and he was telling me he was on a health kick and I found this really inspiring. Uh, obviously those that have seen Max on Instagram on, on social media know he likes a good old party and can get stuck in. Him being on a health kick was a really big change for him and I thought I'd get him to time to talk about what he's doing and maybe see if he can inspire more. In this video today we're going to chat about how, how he's doing that health kick and what processes he's put in place to keep him healthy on the road. So how are you? You all right? I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> you can't have this bloody internet when it starts working. Yeah, the internet is... A, it's, these, are the, these are the tribulations of running a dance music magazine these days. We're trying to do everything video and stream everything, so... Oh well, all good. At least, at least we've not got four, 5G and killing ourselves. Oh, oh, no, don't, don't even start me on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's talk, uh, just quickly, let's just chat about the summer. Um, you have obviously been playing Ibiza, and you, we were talking about before, you were playing Eden a bit, and somewhere else, Abode? Yeah, so, um, I've got a couple of shows at Abode, a couple of shows at Body Works at High, um, one at Paradise, um, and... There's a few more. For some reason, they keep coming out of my head. But, um, yeah, I think there's about 10, 11 shows. Also, um, a few for Idol at Eden, which I'm quite excited about, bringing that back on the map. Such a great club and a great sound system. And, um, yeah, it's nice to see that coming back, so I'm fully supporting that too. Yeah, I was in, I was in there last summer, and it was a good sound system then. Um, I went to the last summer. Even better now. Amazing. Well, it was great to see, man. It's great to come back. <laughs> um, so, and also, so this, this conversation obviously leads into your, you've been nominated for the DJ Award again this yeah. year. Congratulations, mate. Uh, obviously, you won it the breakthrough last year. And um, this year, you are the people's champion for, uh, for Tech House, it seems. Well, maybe not, maybe not quite, but I'm up there <laughs> in the <another>. night. <laughs> it's uh, extremely tough category. We've got Camel Fat, Salado. Lapman, Detlef in there, Patrick Topping, Waffs in there, I think. Beat Michael Beebe, who's had a fantastic year. I so think, I, you know, slim chances, but I'm, I'm just so happy to be nominated. I think all the Data Transmission fans, you should go and vote for Max and let's make him the, uh, the, the actual people champion uh, for Tech House because yeah, they've all had great years, but uh, yeah, let's just, just let's do it. Vote the underdog a little bit. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and we obviously we caught up at the other DJ Awards last year, and sort of that's the first time you did these, this big question series, which I'll link that for those people watching on YouTube and you can watch that video. It's quite funny. So this time I want to talk about health. Uh, you were on a bit of a health kick, which I'm I'm super inspired by. Uh, I love I love that you're doing this. Uh, the, I mean, the last time I saw you, you were at my house and you got a tr you haven't been in bed and. From and to what you are now, we, we were chatting. I think oh, we were chatting on Messenger when you were in Japan. That's when we were chatting. I worked it out earlier, and then you were telling me you want to help me. So, why did this start, and how 
how is it going with touring? Um, well, it's just like, they say you burn the candles at both ends, but I, I was burning them at the sides as well. So um, it's about time that I took a bit of time out. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still having a couple of beers here and there, but I'm probably only doing that once a weekend now as opposed to two, for two three gigs, four gigs sometimes a week. And I've just, just, I just wanted to get a little bit healthier, lose some weight. I got to, I got to the heaviest I'd ever been. So, yeah, just wanted to drop some weight off and get a bit healthier. And I feel great for it, to be honest. Personal training every day and stuff like that. So, yeah. What yeah. tactics have you put in place, and what are you, are you, are you able to use those when you're, when you're, you know, when you're travelling? Yeah. Well, I mean, I get personal training for three or four times a week, depending on how many I can do, because obviously I've got to come home to do it. Um, but then I'm I'm trying to get in there at the gym at every hotel. I mean, if it's got a hotel, I mean, even if it's just got a treadmill or a cross trainer or something, I'm trying to do at least twenty thirty minutes a day. Um, yeah, so it's, I've lost a stone already, which is a good start. Yeah, amazing. You look better for it as well, mate. You really do. Thank you, mate. Yeah, thank you. It does feel. I can definitely feel it. That's for sure. Do you feel you're more productive because you've because you're healthier? Yeah. And do you yeah, feel definitely. I mean, I'm, my personal training is at eight in the morning, so I'm done by quarter to nine. I'm showered by nine. I'm eating breakfast by quarter past, and I'm in the studio by ten, fresh. Do you know what I mean? So it's um, it definitely definitely makes a big 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 difference and you're just alert and you can think and you get stuff done i mean don't get me wrong i'm very forgetful so i don't get everything done but <laughs> everything i remember i'm getting done so yeah it's very productive it's, it's just i mean anxiety and everything i've struggled with anxiety since i've lost my dad um been in depressive states as well over the last five years and there's no sign of that whatsoever with exercise every day oh Not really single, that's really um, good you're just the happiest you could possibly be when you're training every day. It's as simple as that. Have you have you altered your diet as well? Or are you still? Yeah, I mean, I still I don't go too mad. I've got a calorie uh, count that I'm trying to stick to, um, but I'm still I'm still. If I fancy something, I'm eating it. I'll just do ten more minutes on the cross trainer for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I I do. My missus cooks me dinner pretty much every night and it's always a nice bit of protein and some lovely veg and she's she, she always makes it tasty and, and not too bad for us so I'm lucky there but um yeah I mean the, the best thing about it is just the way you feel you just got this no, no anxieties no depressive states nothing it's just you're just happy and you're just getting on with things um and how do so you, so you struggle with that a lot then did you um well when I lost my dad it was sudden. I lost him on a motorbike, so he died on a motorbike accident. So it was very sudden. And it was grief, really. I mean, actually, unfortunately, um, on Saturday, I lost my cousin too. I saw, I saw on Facebook. I'm sorry to hear, mate. I'm honestly, I saw. saw. Fatal bikes, they're death traps. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously, I struggled a bit tra traveling on your own, going to the, uh, you know, the other side of the world, South America, doing three gigs. And drinking every day because I wanted to forget, do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like it doesn't put you in a state, and it the only way is down from there. So, um, but yeah, we finally threw through the back of that and um, just trying to trying to be a bit healthier, and it's it's just better in every single way to be like that. Not, no, it, don't get me wrong, you can have a blowout every now and then, and when you're seeing your friends, and no problem, but exercise is key, man. It, it really, really helps. I'm so much happier. I bet. I bet when you're when you're doing those long gigs, it'll be like you do. You just you just start drinking because you're bored because there's not, there's not much else to do. Yeah, and that. Yeah. And I guess now you're replacing that with exercise. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's amazing, yeah. mate. Well done. That's amazing. And, and you think in a very different way once you've trained as well, because if you haven't trained, you sit there and think there's nothing to do. Have a, I'll have a drink. But when you have, you feel like alert. You can be bothered to go out, see things when you're away, and. You know, it's just different. It's just much better. I, I'm reading. I'm, I'm reading this amazing book at the moment. It's called Atomic Habits, and it's yeah. basically about changing small things in your within your life 
and like yeah. it's based around the British cycling team where they, they where they sort of changed all the one percent to get those gold medals. They changed everything in there. The little little things they changed, and they made such big differences. I know uh, that. Yeah, really interesting. Like really interesting book. I'm like only three or four chapters in, but. It, they, they basically saying you create a, what you do you you set some goals but you create habits around them and create daily habits then you stick to those daily habits more and then you'll get to those goals or whatever you're trying to achieve which is really interesting you know definitely 100 percent. and the good thing about um getting up and exercise is it gives you like some sort of daily routine because it's extremely easy to to lose that <laughs> trust me <laughs> And how's, how's uh, music production? Have you got new stuff coming? I mean, you just had that massive release well, on your own label, wasn't it? So that was really well done. Yeah, well, I've, we've got, I've got a um, collaboration with George Smedals coming on Superfet, which is the sister label to Mother Recordings. Uh, yeah, I like that label. I like that label a lot. Yeah, it's a good label. And um, we, it's called Take You There. And... Um, it's a really, I mean, it's very vocally for for my music. It's pretty, it's almost a full vocal track, but it's still wow. extremely, it's an underground track. It's really underground, but it's just got a massive vocal for over, probably over half of it, I would say. Wow. But, um, it just works. Really. I'm hoping that would be, um, I'll send you it in a minute, but I'm hoping that will um, do really well. When is that, when is that out? It's out on the 12th of August. Oh, amazing. So Coming soon. Yeah, and then there's bits and bobs. There's a new label uh, me and Georgia just started called Low Res, which is a sister label to Resonance, which we're going to start uh, pushing towards um, up and coming talent again because we kind of lost that from Resonance because it's it's got so big. So we've yeah. started the platform, which I'd like to talk to you about on another another time actually. Yeah, I'd love to talk to you about that. Definitely, hundred percent. I've got some artists that I might send you them as well. I think I've sent one to Georgia already for. That he uh, some music for for something, but for him to play basically. But yeah, love talks about that. Well, good. Let's when when, when you launching that. Let's jump right back on and have another chat about labels. Yeah, twenty seventh of September we're launching that. The first one I've done a little collaboration with Will Taylor just off the cuff when we we saw each other one time. Nice. So, um, we ended up doing an EP and we're we're going to do that first. So it's got a little bit of clout for the first release. Um, and then we're going to start to try and focus. So it doesn't have to be just up and coming artists, but we'd like to get back to them because there's so much talent out there that doesn't get spotted just because their name's not quite in the limelight. So we want to bring that back. That's good. Are you going to sign? What sort of artists? What sort of level artists are you going to sign? Are they? Are they got to have something going on, or are you going? To, if you if you found That's someone right. that if you found someone it that had be no, someone first. wow, okay, cool, amazing. That's amazing. That'd be a great leg up for them as well. The good thing is I've just had a, a platform um, built. It's the, as far as I know, uh, I've started a, a company called Pro, Primal Promo and with my uh, partner Sam Wooch here. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the first unmanned promo platform. So, oh, it, wow. it, so it writes its own um, campaign reports. It emails them out every single Monday to everybody. It, it, it even... Um, has live updates and notifications so you can go on and see who's commented when and where and when and I'm pretty sure it's um it's the first one that's completely unmanned and works exactly like any other one. Oh amazing. So we're we're gonna be putting that to the test with this new label. Oh incredible. That's really good. Yeah. That's really cool. Um and like I guess great that's a cool platform. That sounds amazing. And is that, does it come, are you, are you, I guess you have to load in your own database of DJs like any other, like in flight or anywhere like that? I mean, I've got an incredible amount of uh, a database at the minute ready to go. I mean, there's every man and his dog on there, so. Oh, you're um, going to put that in there as well? You're going to, that's going to be loaded in? It's literally got finished on Monday, so. Amazing. The first, first release will be mine and Will's going through it. I mean, there's every DJ you could possibly imagine on there, so. I'm hoping that as long as it doesn't hit anyone's junk, it will go pretty well. But we've tested it a lot and it's not. So I'm hoping it's going to be good. I look forward to that hitting my promos inbox then. Yeah. <laughs> and also, while I've got you, I'm, I, I'm loving your social strategy at the moment. I seem to see you advertising, running ads on, on Facebook and Instagram loads at the moment. Obviously, it's to try and build more, more following. Um, and it seems to be you're playing places and you're running ads against that 
and uh, it's really impressive. It's really good to see that you're kind of using your budget, you're using what you're making to kind of grow yourself. You know, it's a lot of kids are not doing that. I see, there's a lot of teachers that should be doing that, and they should, and they're not. And they, it's really good to see, by the way. I'll be honest with you, it's um, it's had to come down to that really because Instagram have capped the reach so badly. Uh, it's yeah. just happened again recently in the past couple of weeks. If my my reach has halved again. Unless you're like in, if you, unless you're being searched nonstop, unless you're Camel Fat, BB, Salado, Jamie Jones, you know, all these people that get tagged all the time and, and whatnot because, you know, they're in the limelight and the hype at the minute. Mm. Um, it's extremely hard to reach anyone and, and, and get anyone's attention, especially when the only content you've really got is you either playing gigs or in the studio, which they've seen time and time again. So yeah. it's, it's tough. Um, but if you don't put some of it back in, you're not, you're not going to get anything really. It's yeah. about, I set it aside now every single month to do that. <laughs> now let's get everyone vote for Max. Come on, let's vote for him and uh, best of luck, pal. And thanks for, thanks for speaking to me. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks again for joining us on Deck Transmissions today. Make sure you go and vote at the DJ Awards. I'll put the link below, djawards.com. Obviously vote for Max in the Tech House category. Let's see if we can make him win this category. As ever, as ever, if you found this useful, please subscribe to the channel. Please drop us a little thumbs up. Ding, ding. And if you want to get the content first, little, hit that little bell. Ding, ding. And uh, do you like the sound effects? They're cool, aren't they? Ding, ding, ding. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.